It's uh, 10 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. This is a regular commissioner's court meeting, County of Star, Monday, October 28th. Let the record show that we do have quorum. Commissioner signs being absent. Um, September 30th, 2019, 365 days have elapsed or 100% of the year. In summary, the general fund amount expended year to date is $18,281,518 for 98.04%. That's slightly below the, the 100% for the year. A breakdown of several departments are reflected at the bottom of the page, of page one, and continue through page two. The departments exceeding the 100% reflect the percentages in, uh, in bold. On page three, part three reflects the expenditure report for the Road and Bridge Fund as of September 30th, 2019. In summary, the Road and Bridge Fund amount expended here to date is $5,560,512, or 89.41%, <coughs> and falling just below the 100% of the year elapsed. Below that, you can see a break. Mr. Yes, Mr. Sir. Uh, going back to uh, the general, mm -hmm. the numbers that are in bold, those numbers are still going to change some as as we close out. Uh, there may be there may be a little bit of a difference. Yeah, I don't okay. expect much. Okay, because I noticed like election administrator, uh, county attorney, uh, some of those they they they're supposed to have on grants on Monday on the on the second page. Uh, they're supposed to have grants that are supposed to be coming in. That might make a difference. There. That yeah. that would. And if not, we need to know because you know, yeah, we've still got the period 13, which is October for year nine. Because okay. uh, they keep telling you know when when they're in the in the red, I call them, mm -hmm. and they keep telling me that it's because this grant money is coming in. So I want to make sure that it does come in. Sixty-seven thousand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, in summary, the road bridge fund amount expended here today, 5,565,12 or 89.41%, 
This is the global one that we in. Uh, below that, you have a breakdown of the numbers for some of the departments within the Road and Bridge Consolidated Fund. Uh, the remainder of page three and continuing through page four, you have a year-to-date summary of the revenue reports for the general <laughs> fund and the road and bridge fund. Year-to-date revenues collected are $18,093,041, or 96.99%, and $5,691,667, or 91.51%, respectively. Uh, page five reflects the summary of revenues and expen uh, expenses for the enterprise funds as of September 30th, 2019. Uh, the International Bridge reflects revenues of 2,410,355 with expenditures of $2,295,019, an excess of 115,336. The gas operating system reflects year-to-date revenues of $1,055,695 with expenditures of $930,653 or an excess of $125,042. The solid waste transfer station reflects year-to-date revenues of $1,395,605 with expenditures of $1,522,986, which is a deficit of $127,381. And page six reflects uh, the debt note as, as of September 30th, 2019, the total current balance being $1,986,400. Any other questions? So, so this is a snapshot. Uh, certainly, some numbers need to, to be tweaked, but yeah. of, of our year, right? Right. So, if I read this thing correctly, we have on, on the very first page we had a uh, cash available or fund balance of a little over two million dollars. One point five. Cash. Yeah. Cash. Yeah. 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 But I'm talking of all, all everything combined. So we But but some of those bills are still in the Right. Yeah. But based on this on this yeah, report sure. we had the, the surplus, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, how much? Is it that one point five? Well for the general fund it would have been the the three hundred and sixty five nine seventy two budget wise. That doesn't really that's not between all three of them. <laughs> no, we need to we need to work on fund balance. We don't we don't have it. Uh, it's a very good. Thank you, Mr. President. How about the audit? Where are we at with the audit? Uh, the audit, uh, Sam is just about done with the final, uh, I think, what is he working on? Is he the uh, federal clearing, general, close to the general fund. Yeah, so uh, we're expecting within the next week he should be done with that. And according to Mr. Vena, the external auditor, if uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances, if, if, if uh, Sam is done with it, they get all of it, they should be done by the end of November. Hopefully in the middle of November. Yeah. So actually, you, you, uh, <coughs> your department has not got not done with it. No, not quite. Yeah, and and certainly not not to defend anyone, but uh, some of the problem is that the number of POs that we have. That's what delays the, their audit. Yeah, there there's there's several different things. Uh, uh, a lot of which I'm, I'm looking into. I think cause some inefficiencies within the department. Uh, we're still working. Uh, behind the times uh, in there that uh, you know, looking to, to make some changes in that to, to make us more efficient. Uh, we're waiting too long to get started with the audit. Uh, that won't happen this year. As soon as Sam is done with this one, we're starting on the next one. I think we've been waiting until maybe February to get started with that. We're not going to do that anymore. Uh, and, and then one of the things is that uh, we need to change the culture there and that everybody's going to Sam for questions and uh, it takes up a lot of his time. I mean, he's between he and Lefty, they work on, on most of the audit stuff and the, I would say the majority is probably Sam and uh, he's just got too many interruptions. So that's something we need to work on to, to try to alleviate that. Who has questions for Sam? Everybody. Huh? Everybody. Everybody. Every department. 
Yeah, I know I call him. Yeah. So, good to meet. Uh, and we're trying to change that to get those questions to me rather than Sam. And I guess there for a while it was just him, uh, you know, and uh, well, not just him, but the whole the whole office. But uh, the changes in auditors and stuff like that, it was easier to go to Sam to get the answers that they wanted. And, uh, and that's what we're trying to change. Okay, so it hopefully shouldn't take us as long for the next one. Very long time. Anything else? No, sir. Thank you. Uh, moving on to item number seven. This is an action item to request a loan from the general fund to pay PO uh, number 118107 in the amount of 18650 that is correct, Judge. Uh, we are on a reimbursement basis. Okay, so this will be, you're asking to pay and then we'll be That is correct. Second. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the next one is to ratify uh, TD or the Housing and Community Affair Investment Partnership Program. That is correct, Judge. There's an extension that was approved uh, and it was already signed and we submitted it. No, the Second. No, second. Discussion? On of here, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item nine is an action item, and this is to adding an additional workstation, one desk, top scanner, and one laser printer to the Vanguard Record Management Agreement. Mr. Morning, Mr. Judge. Mr. Um, with us trying to be more efficient with our office at, uh, at the old courthouse, uh, we're asking uh, respectfully from the commissioner's court to a, approve uh, an additional workstation which would be uh, added on to the existing, I guess, agreement that you all had prior to me coming in uh, for an additional $118.34 per month for the remaining 46 months. Uh, the reason why we're asking for this is that uh, with the county court of law pushing us faster to get more records out, I've kind of dedicated one of those workstations just for court and I have one employee just focusing on that. We're really trying to close out. Uh, we had a little bit over 6,000 cases that are still open. And we probably closed out a bit over 2,000 uh, cases. So with that being said, adding another workstation will just leave the, uh, the workflow there. Uh, uh, how much uh, per month? Uh, $118.34, Judge. It would be added on to whatever the uh, agreement you all had originally done. Uh, so it, it would be an additional five thousand four forty three sixty four for the remaining forty eight months, right? So one eighteen times uh, forty six months. Okay. And uh, this, uh, uh, where, where do we pay this from? I believe it's from the general. The general. Yes, sir. Okay. That uh, includes all the software. It's all the software from the Vanguard system and and the workstations that we have at the at the courthouse and here at the end. Okay. I don't know if I budget that because I budget what sure. you had last year. Not a problem. But uh, we can move some monies around. Sure. Thank you. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 10 is a, uh, to accept a uh, payment in the amount of 1000 <coughs> for the Star County Nutrition Program number yeah, four. Moved to accept the payment. Moved and second. Moved to aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 11 is an action item. <clears throat> this is to approve a proclamation proclaiming November 2nd as Relay for Life Day uh, in Star County. Anyone here saying that? Uh, uh, motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? On the third piece of aye. Aye. Opposed? Item 12, I was asked to table. It should have been on our next agenda, so... Uh, can, can I have a motion to table that? Motion to table, Your Honor. Second. Moved and second. All in favor, please aye. aye. Uh, item 13 oh, uh, is an, an action item, and this is to approve to have a public auction. You know, every time we, we have an auction, we, we need it to have it approved. And of course, we invite any department, of course, the commissioners, anyone, to bring their things that they want to get rid of. Uh, that's the only way the county can get rid of stuff is uh, through auction. When is that date? Do you have a date? Well, no. Uh, it's uh, whatever you all want. Uh, uh, Your Honor, you had, uh, we had thought about November. Yeah. Uh, so we need to set a date. I guess I can uh, get together with you all or, or send you uh, an email. 
Uh, we usually have it on a Friday, and we can have it in the middle of November, before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. Before and Thanksgiving. We're we'll depending the date, you know. Okay, I second that. I'll, I'll send you all a memo. Right. Make sure you send one to the fire department, because they're the one that have a bunch of stuff. That you can be in. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, uh, I have a motion and second to go ahead and approve, uh, pending a date. Uh, and Ms. Guerra, I guess you'll, you'll get a confirmation on the date. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Honor very big guy. Proposed. The motion carries. Uh, item 14 is also a resolution that says to authorize the submission of the Silco Center proposal to TDHCA. Moved and second. Moved and second. Honor very big guy. Opposed. Motion carries. Uh, item 15 is to designate the county judge and the county treasurer to authorize signatories for the uh, Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. Uh, Self-help center program. Second. Moved and second. Discussion. One <coughs> fair please aye. aye. Opposed. <coughs> Motion carries. Item 16 is to ratify the discounts on taxes: three percent October, two percent November, one percent December, and also to extend it 15 days, being that the notices were late 15 days. Are those moved? Second. Moved and second. All in favor please aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Oh, it was in the next one. Okay, um, I didn't see the item. 17 is to approve the extension for October, November, and December to 3, uh, 2, and 1, which was part of the motion 16. <coughs> motion to approve. Yeah. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Items 18 through. <coughs> 34. Through 34 are budget amendments. Mr. Lopez, are there any? Ah, yes, sir, those are all moved. Let's take that. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item uh, 25 is an action item, and this is to approve the 229 District County Free Crop Budget, federally forfeited. Forfeited property and federally forfeited U.S. Treasury for district attorney. Move and second. Moved and second. Discussion. All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Um, okay. It is ten minutes. Quick, quick. Ten twenty and pursuant to section five five one point zero seven four. And 551.071, we will now go into executive session to discuss, uh, discuss order salaries uh, and 2019-20 order <laughs> salaries and uh, to revise status on uh, cost number DC 02313, cost number DC 030315 to consolidate in the three of you first. We'll be out shortly. <clears throat>